Welcome to the Wu Shortcodes Kit Pro Video Guides. This time we will learn how to use the function Elementor tabs linkables. It's only required to be an Elementor user and activate the Wu Shortcodes Kit Pro function to start to work. This function only can be used with the free Elementor tabs widget, so let's go to add the widget on our page. By default the Elementor tabs don't have the ability to be linked from another pages or custom links added on the same page, it's only can be linked from the links located on the same tab header. So if you are building a custom account page and want to use your custom links for access to each tab container and hit of the by default tabs header, you can do it easily with this function. To get it, we need go to Wu Shortcodes Kit Settings, look for the Wu Shortcodes Kit Pro section called Compatibility with Third Party Plugins and go to the function Elementor Tabs Linkables. Activate the function and expand it to configure the advanced options. Here we can copy the shortcode to add on the same page with the Elementor tabs widget, and have some helpful text to know how it works. Remember copy the shortcode and save the settings. Now we back to the page and add the shortcode using a HTML widget, you can use the shortcode widget too. Save the settings and let's go to check it. How you can see, now when the tab is clicked, dot its display on the browser the page address with a slug added. It means that the function is working and now we can use it to link from another pages or to use custom buttons instead of the links on the tab header. So let's go to test it. First of all let's go to test the link from another page, for example, we can test with the tab 2. So let's copy the slug hash tab 2 and let's go to another page to add the link using the copied slug. Now we are in the external page with the link to the tab 2, let's go to click on it and check if we go to the tab 2.
Perfect, it's works, so from now we know how to link to the Elementor tabs from another pages, and now we go to build our custom buttons to link with each container. To get it, we can use any linkable widget, for example I go to use simple buttons, but you can use others widgets as you want. You only need to be sure that you are using the correct slug to link with the tab. How you can see now we can access to each tab container using our custom buttons, and the tab header links are useless now. So let's go to hide it easily with just CSS style. We just need to inspect the tab header class and add hide it using CSS style. So knowing the class, let's go to use it to hide the tab header. How you can see, now the tab header is not visible and only can access to the tabs using the custom buttons. Now you have the power to build your custom tabs and use it for example to build your custom account page. If you like the idea, don't miss the next's videos about the Woo Shortcodes Kit Pro functions, where you will learn about how to use each function and how to apply to build your custom account page. Subscribe to be notified about the new videos. See you soon.